What's going on everybody? This is Brian from SneakerFiles.com and today we are bringing you a real versus fake comparison of the Air Jordan 11 Space Jam. Now, for those that don't know, this is for educational purposes only to help those that want to buy an authentic pair legit check their shoes or make sure they don't get scammed. Now, like I always do, if you'd like to pause the video and guess which one is real, which one is fake, you could do so now or I'll give you a second. So up front, we have the authentic pair, and in the back, we have the fake. Now, I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. Um, this has had to be the hardest shoe to legit check so far because the fakes have been updated. Um, the older pairs that were floating around, it was very easy. They didn't come with peaks. The, the 45, the actual 5, the stitching on the back, they actually, the stitching touched. So there was various ways but now they're updated so with that and then even the authentic pair being mass produced you're gonna find inconsistencies with that but there are some ways to tell so don't worry first we have the toe cap so we have the fake on the right and we have the authentic on the left so this is gonna vary from fake pair to fake pair but you could see that it's a slight I mean very slightly more translucent on the fake versus the real pair and I mean very slightly and um, that will vary too because I've seen other fake pairs that were almost damn near um, see-through maybe at a better angle you could see that but it's slightly more translucent another thing is the peaks you would think the fake pair uh, the fake companies would get this right here is the peak on the fake now you're gonna notice yeah it does come up but it's a slightly rounded okay now here is the authentic pair you could see that it's rigid a lot more rigid now as far as the height of the peak goes and how rigid it is could vary but it should be some like a point it shouldn't be rounded at the top now here is a third pair which is authentic Totally different. Now here are, I'm going to move the fake pair away. Check this out. Look at the size difference of the peaks between the two. Both of these are authentic. They both have a point, but you could see this pair is a lot more higher. Pretty crazy. But that stays pretty consistent as far as the peaks go throughout. You can see once again, this is the authentic and it's, got that point at the top same deal with the medial side now let's check out the fake pair so there's the peak right there it's almost on the side it's almost like it's not there um, it's rounded and the peak on this side actually is should be white on top but it's not the tongue on the fake pair will also sit a bit higher, a bit more flimsier than the authentic. Slightly higher. And I mean just slightly. But again, that kind of just is the overall built and shape of the fake. It's just bigger, even though they're both size 10 and a half, it's bigger than the authentic pair. Up front, we have the fake pair. Now take notice of the stitch line. Notice how it pulls the leather inward, kind of gives it that dip right there. Okay, now here's the authentic. Not pulled in at all. It's, it's there, it's, you know, holding the leather down, the overlay, but it's not pulled inward. Also, take note of the patent leather right beneath the Jumpman. See how it's a nice curved, the even, even though the stitching does not really follow um, consistently, even with the authentic pair, as you can see, it's, pretty much flush in areas and then like right in this area it damn near touches the line but you will notice that it's rounded the fake pair it has it's not it's rounded but it almost has like a peak almost like um it's the best way to describe it um almost comes to a point due to inconsistencies i wanted to show all three pairs at once here 
So right here, we have the authentic, authentic, fake. Now, this is size 10 and a half, 10 and a half, and this is size 10. One thing you're going to make note of is the height. So the height, obviously, is going to sit higher than the 10 and 10, but they sit higher than the 10.5. So although they are shaped differently, they are rounded more, and they aren't as long as, this, as the fake pair. And that's where the 45 is stitched. Also, the 45s don't really take note about the placement of it because you can see between the two authentics, one is almost crooked, um, this one is straight, and this one is also straight. But you're going to notice that the actual stitching, it's a bit thinner on the fake pair. And this is an updated version. The peaks down here, notice the peak of the midsole. So these two vary, but you can see that there is a peak right in this area, right in this area. And this one, there is a peak, but it's more rounded. Notice on the heel, going towards the medial side on the fake pair, you're going to still see some white, but it's very, very thin, almost non-existent. Now, this will also, on fake pairs, it just won't be consistent at all. So you might see this um, closer to the toe, anywhere like that. So look for stuff like this. You can see how thin it is. And also, you'll notice there goes that, <clears throat> excuse me, the peak stitching. Kind of just peaks up. And I don't mean peaks as in leather peaks like right here, but peaks. You can see that. Now just to show you in comparison to the authentic. Nice thick overlay. Nice clean cut. And there is the medial side. Should just, even though it won't be consistent as far as the stitching, how close it is to the edge. It does consistently stay that kind of like that oval shape. Okay, so I want to make note of this because um, in case you might be in this situation, but let's say you have an authentic pair in hand and you're trying to double up or you have a friend that has an authentic pair to bring along. Now, the fake pair, the midsole, the actual coloring, it's white, but it's more, it's a lot more brighter white than the authentic pair. So we got the fake up front. An authentic pair, which I don't think will pick up at all. And to be honest, um, with the lighting, even though I turned the light down and angled it to and get it and got the camera closer to on this little screen, it comes out not looking so bright. But in person, you will definitely be able to tell. Now, another thing is which you can tell from images is the texturing of the midsole. So this is the fake pair still up front. Now, just take note of it. You'll also see a lot of fading inconsistencies throughout. Now here we have the authentic pair. Now I guess the best word for this would be that the actual texture of it is more engraved. Don't notice any inconsistencies. It doesn't fade and un natural areas, nothing of that sort. So that's another good thing to take note of. So here's a close up of the carbon fiber shank plate. This is the authentic pair. Um, it is smooth to the touch. Again, there might be some glue stains on it because on my authentic pair there is, so you might feel those ridges, but it's not gonna be anything like your traditional carbon fiber plate where you can feel some sort of ridges. Now just take note of the shading All right, so now I'm gonna bring in the fake pair. So the fake pair, although like you can see it kind of shine area areas, you should see it's it's a lot more dull, um, almost looks stained. All right, bringing you back to the hill once again, just because I felt this was the best way to showcase the outsole, the coloring of the blue. Now. I did throw in the third, or I should say the third shoe, but being the second authentic. So first up, authentic, authentic, fake. Now, right off the bat, you're going to notice the first one, which is authentic, is darker blue than these two. Although this one is authentic and this one is fake. However, the second authentic is slightly darker than the fake. So again, you cannot use the outsole of the blue tint of the outsole 
to distinguish between real and fake. I mean, if it's clearly almost see-through, and I mean even brighter than this, because this is almost passes. This would pass to a lot of people, let's be honest. Then that's not a great way to tell if it's real or fake. But I did want to make note of it because I saw some other videos and people saying about the outsole and things like that, which are good videos. Don't get me wrong. I think anybody helping the community distinguish between real and fakes and not get scammed is a great video in my book. And I co-sign it no matter what, as long as the information is, is real and it's true, which it has been. But having two pairs of authentics in hand and then the fake pair, it just it goes to show that there are inconsistencies even with that. On the insole, what you're going to notice on the authentic pair is the stitching on the footbed. So basically, the stitching is going to be a lot closer together. As you can see, I'm trying to give you the best angles possible because it's really hard to get in there. And I did try the flashlight, but that did not work too well. But you can see how close it is. Now, let me get you in on the fake pair. So now you're going to notice how far the stitching is apart on the fake pair. Both of them have that blue stamp on the bottom, the fake and the authentic. So they did update that. Also, it's very sloppy, the stitching, especially around the hill area. I'm not able to get a clean shot of the, the production numbers, so... I'm going to read them off to you. First up, we have the Authentic, which runs from 04 21 16 through 06 30 16. Oops. And now we have the Fake Pair, which runs from. Let me try to get in there. 04 21 16 to 05 04 16. Now, these production numbers really don't mean much. I mean, people want to know about them because maybe to pair up with the knowing that one pair is authentic. But again, this can vary. So we got the shoe horns. We have the authentic here, the fake here. And everything pretty much checks out. And it might be hard to pick up on camera, but there's actually more of a shine more um, to the authentic versus the fake. The fake is, a, is slightly, slightly more... Um, flat also the paper that they come with you can see that the authentic is lighter in shade versus the fake pair it's a lot thinner as well the authentic is versus the fake all right so this might be a bit difficult to pick up on camera but we're gonna try our best here definitely you'll be able to tell in person so on the right we have the authentic the left we have the fake now the shading of the jump man it's on the authentic, it's your Concord purple, has that purple hue to it. So on the fake pair, it almost has a royal hue to it. Um, closer to the 2009 or even 2000 release. Um, I'm going to try to position that a little bit differently. You might be able to tell the differences. The 2-3 on the fake box, it'll be more like of a vanilla or a cream shade versus it being gray on the authentic. You can clearly see the, the various shades used, the differences between the two. That is a huge indicator of being real versus fake. The rings on the box. So up top we have the fake. On the bottom we have the authentic pair. So here, the fake one has a lot of movement in it. Again... That could, you know, vary. There's no movement in that. I guess if it could get loose. Um, but you'll also notice how much bigger they are. So the fake is a lot larger than the authentic. Another thing is there was like this film over the fake pair. Now, I'm not saying authentic pairs don't have that. But I've had two pairs in hand, plus I've seen quite a bit. And they didn't have a film over it. But I did see a lot of early pairs that did have that film. Okay, so here is the authentic box tag. Notice the size of the font, um, the coloring and everything like that. Now we have the fake, although it's very slightly different, the fake is actually a bit thicker. All right, if it's a little bit shaky, I apologize. I got you off the tripod. But on the left, we have the authentic. 
on the right we have the fake this is the inside of the box as you can see there's no jump man um, i heard there are pairs that do have the jump man but that isn't the, really the case here what you want to look for is the stars so this is pretty much a, a screen print you know across all of them so it shouldn't vary but here's the authentic check out the stars on that those two big stars right there so now here is the fake you're gonna see that it's not um, not as big um, a little bit more fuzzy and as well the overall look of the two might be able it might be slightly difficult to pick up but it's a little bit more flat on the fake pair versus the real overall the plastic inserts do look a bit on point however on the right, which is the the real pair, is a little bit more vibrant than the left being fake. And why is that? Let me show you guys really quick. Sorry, I got you off the tripod. Um, the fake pair has a film. Um, I've checked with multiple authentic pairs. None of them have this film. Um, basically, what you're going to do... One second and I'll show you. Okay, so here is a better angle. So this film that's over it, it just basically removes. So, I mean, I have yet to see an authentic pair that has this. So correct me if I'm wrong in the comments because um, I know a few people did videos where this was on it, but my pair didn't have it. Um... Another pair I have didn't have it. Four of my friends, or one of my friends has four pairs. None of theirs had it. So, unless it's some kind of weird conspiracy where this is available on select pairs, then I guess so. But this isn't taking shots at anybody in no way, shape, or form. Um, i just helping everybody out. So, this film was also on that, that uh, ring on the box. So, I don't know. Um, my fake pair didn't have any, or my authentic pair didn't have any of this whatsoever. Um, whether it be on the, the, the box itself or on these plastic inserts. Alright, so now we're inside the box. Now, we got the authentic on the right. And the only thing it came with extra that the fake didn't have was these tissue paper. But... Everything pretty much checks out between the two. You still have your issues with the stars. Um, they are different shaped and different, a little bit different areas, even though it's a print. Um, you can check that out. Again, there is still a bit fuzzy on the fake. Now, nowhere on the fake box was there a quality control sticker. Now here is the thing, like is it possible that Nike did skip over putting a quality control sticker anywhere in the box? Is It's possible, but here's authentic pair, quality control sticker down there. Now I've seen, and I've had my hands on a bunch of fakes, you guys seen the multiple videos I've done and everything of that, and they are, the fakes are always put quality control stickers on their boxes always even when they're not supposed to be there especially with the jordan ones like the new jordan ones don't have the quality control sticker on them um they do have a stamp inside the lid or inside the box somewhere um the fake pair doesn't have a stamp but it has quality control sticker i've had my hands on fake 12s quite a quite a bit and they all have the quality control stickers so is it possible that since these are being mass produced that Jordan brand, Nike, forgot to put that quality control sticker, it is possible. So I'm not going to necessarily say that um, without the sticker, the shoe's going to be fake. But if there's multiple signs throughout this video pointing to them being fake and then there's no quality control sticker, yeah, of course, I want to go with fake and just go with your gut. All right, everybody, so that was your real versus fake Air Jordan 11 Space Jam comparison. Uh, this video is, all these videos take a lot of time. This one especially took like, I think four hours just to analyze the two and then throwing in another authentic pair to make sure everything I'm stating is, uh, you know, true and uh, checking in with friends and everything like that. So if you did like this video,
please give it a thumbs up. And if you like real versus fake comparisons to help you with legit checks, make sure to subscribe. Next one up is the Yeezy 350 Boost. I'm not sure if it's the black and white pair or if it's going to be the black and core red or um, core black and red. I'll figure that out soon. Um, so, man, so there's so many discrepancies between even the two authentic pairs that it's hard to distinguish. But what you want to do is in a nutshell, is make sure the stitch line right here, it's nice and smooth, not indented in like the one in the back uh, that I showed previously in the video. Um, the actual stitching on the footbed, it's it should be a bit snug, not so close together, but a good distance versus being really spaced out and far. The box itself will have um, more of a cream, darker hue to it compared to a, like grays and um, you could tell the differences between the whites being used. Um, check for quality control sticker, although I don't want to put a ton of emphasis on that because it is possible that Nike Jordan brand messed up and they forgot to put one in. But if you're having all these issues and these issues continue you know, to pile up, like there's one discrepancy, two, three, and there's no quality control sticker, just stare clear. Even if it's a good deal, just go with your instinct. Do not do not cop them. Also, the insoles, um, just make sure they're nice and gray like that. I've seen some that are dark gray. Um, and sometimes, uh, actually, both of these pairs didn't have any glue on them. Easy to pull out. So, um, other than that, if you want me to, like, legit check an auction or something like that, I will do my best. These are really hard to... Um, authenticate. So if anyone says these are easy, I mean, it can't, it's not the case. It's not the case of these because there's so many discrepancies, so many. But either way, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think of this video, if this helped out in any way. And if you want to see more, it's going to obviously going to continue doing the real versus fake comparisons. You guys seem to like it. And I do enjoy doing them. Although the Space Jam was the most difficult one to date. So maybe... Um, hope, I hope that another pair can top this because it was fun. So again, thanks for watching. Stay tuned to sneakerfalls.com. And if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe.